All right, we're back with the fourth and final round with John Min Range. We won the roll, and we'll go first. This is a third turn of the Liana, so I definitely think we'll keep it. So, don't really know what he's playing yet. Stomping ground can mean a lot of things. Whatever it is, though, he has a slow start. What do I get rid of here? I think it's probably Pillar of Flame. Until I know more, at least. I get a little nervous about discarding a Pillar of Flame when, it, when he's showing just stomping grounds, but I have plenty of other removal in my hand, Liliana on the board. So, looks like Naya. That's going to die quickly. Miss, 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 miss. Damn it. Not the card I wanted to see him top deck. And I'm not going to plus Ileana, obviously, now. Need to draw some lands. Well, in the meantime, not a very good use of resources there, but I'm going to need to draw some lands quickly. Well, that's something. Can at least kill his wolf. Next turn I can play a hunt master of my own. That's not good. Especially because he's going to be able to kill my uh, Huntmaster himself. If he plays an Aurelia and has a land for it, I just die. Because he can attack me for 16, 20. Or 16. Yeah, it'd be exact ease even if I play a Thrag Tusk. So. Let's just play a Hunt Master. This matchup is not in our favor when we get stuck on lands, but I'm pretty sure you can say that about most decks. So now if he passes the turn, my Hunt Master will flip, but his will resolve first, which means mine will die. I'm sure that's what he was thinking there about for a second. Dom refighting cut man. Well, now it's just going to die now.
I don't think there's any way I can fight back from this. I don't have any way to deal with the Thunder Maul. I don't want to reveal more of my deck. Nighthawk is good. Putrefy is good. Sever the Bloodline is good. Pillar of Flame is not amazing. Actually, Sire of Insanity is probably good. Actually, Rakdos Return is probably... Let's see, he has a lot of expensive threats. And he doesn't have ways to deal with Sires, so I think I'm actually going to keep the Rakdos Returns in and, and still board in Sires. Let's take out the Key Rune. Two more cards need to go. Primal Hunter is not great. Probably Lil Liliana is not super great. And it's average. The full art putrefies. Actually, the border is kind of ugly. But the picture's not bad. All right, we will play first. Uh, this hand's fine. It's too bad one of these lands didn't, doesn't come into play untapped, but I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Maybe we can draw one on our first turn. I would have to say the mana base is, is one of the flaws with this deck. Next turn we can far seek for an overgrown tomb. Voice. Voice. That's a good draw too. Next turn, we'll just far seek again. If I had one more land, I could play Liliana too, but I'd rather just far seek. We have three red, we have three green, doesn't matter what we get. I think I'm going to get another Ogrown Tomb. Huntmaster is fine. Huh. I guess exiling doesn't I wonder if exiling counts as dying. I don't think it does. But one, two, three, four. There's a couple of different lines of play here. I could have my overgrown tomb come into play untapped, and I could strip all but one card in his hand. I could play a Liliana Veil. Make him sack a creature, which would be the wolf, and I could tragic slip the hunt master. That's not that great. I think the best play of this turn is to have this come and play tapped and then sever the voice. Uh, 
then next turn I can Rakdos as return. Well, it depends on what he does. Now I think I have to kill the Huntmaster. Uh, that'll do it. Things are not looking good right now. Even still, I think that play was probably better than trying to strip his hand. Not attacking. Yeah, there we go. Three, so seven. That puts me at three. Pretty sure I'm not going to be able to win this one. Yeah, this is over. Well, three and one. Not too, too bad. So I will see you guys on. Monday with probably modern again, but that's it for me this week. I will see you guys then.